Why are we here? For the billions of years, the Earth has naturally grown, formed, and brought upon and homed life. Then humans. We started out very primitive, then worked our way up in the food chain with our intelligence, and as we evolved, we made it as the top species on Earth. We were so smart that we didn't only start making it about killing predators to stay alive, but to start killing others to have what they have. So much in excess that it has resulted in ego. Currency came in such as trade and worked its way to money that can be converted in every country. Money is now one of the most hated and liked topics in the world. It runs, shapes and destroys people. However, it can also provide value, freedom and choice, which is what everyone wants. But so much excess that it has resulted in greed. Nations separated to have individual rights, to have these rules put into place to run the very people in them. Order is great to protect the people within the nation. It's not great when it's used to run and brainwash the people. We went from having different cultures to different people, yet we're all the same. Pride and ego combined among the world, and it's all about who has the biggest missiles to harbor the biggest threat. So much in excess that it has resulted in power. We come into this world having to go with the flow as we're merely here for split seconds compared to the 4.5 billion years Earth has been here. This is not enough time to even think what else is there. We're quickly thrown in and expected to adapt and fit into this world that has been formed by our ancestors hundreds of thousands of years ago. Now their future generations as in us and our future selves and our kids are here to pick up the pieces. Take a step back and have a good look and wonder, is this really what's meant to be going on? Life is beautiful, it is a gift, but don't be so selfish to look in such the now that you don't see what's really going on. We're degrading the earth faster than it can regenerate and flourish like it once did. Our selfishness, ego, pride, greed and power has spiraled us into having to consider not having a world or home at all. With the population growing every year, we're setting the demands higher and higher, but in ways that are detrimentally affecting the planet. Think about Earth as a big rock spiraling through space because that's exactly what it is. And it's all we have at the moment. Now you might be thinking, what the hell are you talking about, you fucking hippie? Let's just say we sat down in space one day and had the ability to view the planet over the next 500 years and watched it slowly break and burn into nothing. That planet still is holding and homing your future generations, families, friends, and loved ones. We got our turn in life, but now it's over. But what about them? Look what they had to go through before it all came to an end. Then that returns us to the first question. Why are we here? If it all came to an end, or if it all continued because we woke the fuck up and took action, again, why are we here? Some say to ascend to a higher consciousness with nothing attached, but it must be learnt in your lifetime. And others may think life is just life, and that's totally fine. Either way, we are here for such a short period of time to have worries, to have ego, to have so much power we don't know what to do with, to have all the hate and negativity in the world. These things also have their own benefits in small amounts, but they have been abused. As we hurt, the world hurts too. As the world hurts, we in the end suffer. Imagine the world with such little ego, greed, power, that all we did was live with love, learn from the mistakes and move on. We helped one another find that inner peace and happiness that we all deserve in this lifetime. After all, who would want to come to a place to feel hurt, pain and suffering? But at the moment we don't have a choice. So again, why are we here? Wake up. Look at all the beauty around you, but please also look in the distance at the shrouded and covered up misery and mess. If your lifetime meant living with so much love to yourself that all you had left to give was love, then please do that. Work on you. If living your life meant going about your day and giving at least one person a smile or compliment every day, then please do that. If your lifetime meant helping others, joining with more people to help more, then please do that. You as the beautiful individual you are have more power than you even realize. 
to create a positive impact. You may have your own complete way to creating positive impact, so please do that. Why are we here? Even more importantly, why are you here?